Well, I just landed in Australia here, Melbourne. No, it feels good, you know, there's a huge amount of planning and, and effort that went into this trip, and it's cool to finally be here on the ground. Parker's meeting up with the rest of the team at the Ballarat Gold Museum. So we're taking a different approach this season. We haven't had much success in the last few years, so there's about 500 ounces of gold in this museum, and we're just scouting it right now. We're gonna rob this joint. In the last couple of years, we've had some amazing adventures and found no opportunities, and I think now we've got a real chance at both. Look at those. Man. I think I hear Fred's voice. Yeah, I heard him. I thought I heard some Fred noises. <laughs> <laughs> Parker. Fred. How you doing? Do. Hi, Tyler. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Is this your museum? This is. Do you have oh, beers for oh, us? Nice. This is the best museum I've ever been to. So um, this is pretty much a gold hub, huh? 400 tons of gold has come out of Ballarat alone. You know, not two kilometers down the road is where they found the welcome nugget. Which is the second biggest nugget. So it's like over 2,000 ounces. Absolutely. There's a hell of a lot of gold in the ground in Australia. A lot more than in Alaska, a lot more in the, than in the Yukon. That's for sure. Parker plans to travel 6,000 miles following Australia's historic gold rush trail. Starting with the rush to Victoria's gold fields in 1851, Parker's team will then travel north to Palmer River, where in 1873, prospectors found over a million ounces of gold. Next, the Kimberley's gold fields, where heat and thirst killed hundreds of prospectors in the 1885 rush. From here, Parker will venture further into Western Australia, ending the trail at Kalgoorlie, site of the 1893 gold rush and the richest mile of ground still being mined. Right now, we're just on our way to go uh, meet some prospectors that Tyler knows. It'll be our, our first meeting with Australian gold miners other than Tyler. Yeah, what, what are you expecting with these guys? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Expect the unexpected. How you going, buddy? Neville. Neville, nice to meet you. Prospecting is a massive part of mining in Australia. The biggest nuggets have been found by the prospectors. There's a lot of gold workings down there and they're finding big nuggets the size of potatoes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Metal detectors are a vital tool used by Australian prospectors to track down big gold. Last year, not far from here, an amateur prospector found a 63-ounce nugget worth over $100,000. When they found the gold in Ballarat, it was just everywhere in the creek. You know, right. Huge nuggets just sitting on the, in the creek bed, you know? And that started the Ballarat rush. So do you think I could have a go at this? Oh, sure, yeah. Hang on. Put it where nobody else would put it. Think out of the box, like under a branch between two sticks. Do a lot of people come here? A lot of people don't know this spot. So a bit of kind of like, do you have to keep it a bit of a secret, Nev? It's too late now. <laughs> In the Yukon, the gold is fine, so Parker doesn't use detectors. Oh. Nev. You got a signal? I don't know. But in Victoria, where five of the world's largest gold nuggets have been discovered, detectors have a proven track record in finding huge gold. Well, let's dig it. The louder it is, the bigger it is. No? There it is. There, you first target, mate. I found a nail. I thought we were going to get rich. Here, here's our souvenir. OK, yeah, I'll, I'll look after that. Thank you. We should keep this. So that Nev doesn't have to dig it up yeah. again. <laughs> I really love meeting new gold miners, and I'm always excited to like learn new mining processes and see different types of mining. Like, what's the ratio of nuggets to fines? Like, is there a lot of fine gold that you guys aren't um, finding, do you feel like? Yes, there's a lot of fine gold as well as big nuggets. Um, this area in here, they found gold ranging from flower gold right through to potato-sized nuggets. 
The gold Parker mines in the Yukon is fine gold. Constant erosion by rivers over millions of years has broken down any nuggets into tiny pieces. Much of Victoria's gold didn't get worn down by water, so there are more giant nuggets waiting to be found. All right, Danny, let's go find our mighty warriors. Yeah. This guy. Watch Fred find, like, some massive nugget. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yo, I got something right here. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. something, there's a noise. Yep. It's in there. Hello. What's up? Got a signal. Yeah? Did you guys lose it? Go again, Fred. Yeah, no, it's in there. Hang on. Is there anything in that? Nothing. Oh, oh, oh right there. can you see it? Yeah. Tiny little bit of gold. Kidding me. Good work. Fred, this is your first bit of gold. Yeah. How exciting. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> My heart's already pounding, so <laughs> I kind of want to go find some more. <laughs> this is so cool. I want to join the club. <laughs> Fred's first bit of gold, which was fun. Uh, first bit of colour from Parker's Trail, too, which is exciting. All right, should we get going? Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Had a blast. Thank you. Australia is a massive gold-producing country. There's a lot of opportunity here. Cheers. I'm really hoping that I can show that to Parker, and if I can find him a business opportunity, that'll also mean a business opportunity for me and a future partnership, hopefully. Australia brings on a lot of challenges that we haven't seen before, like snakes, spiders, sharks, jellyfish, crocodiles. Everything just wants to kill you. So this is definitely another level for us, and I think that I'm going to have to pay a lot more attention than I would before. Really, the goal for me is the footage. That's where my gold is. But am I nervous? There's a koala in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> 